guys, how you doing? FM Dal here, and welcome to We're All Wednesday, ain't we? Remember to like, subscribe, and do all the beautiful stuff, but at this point, guys, it's not going the way we planned. Oh no. Yeah, it, it, we, we planned for many things, but not quite this. Are we going down? Are we, are we going down? We, you can see here, we're in fourth. Fourth? I don't even... I'm not even, I don't know how this has happened. I'm not sure what is happening. I don't know if what it j Kelly The last time we saw you it was for the Cardiff and the Luton games. You saw a 4-0 and a 1-1. It all seemed rosy. When we came out of that, we played Blackburn and we got a 3-3. We were 3-2 up in this game. We probably should have done better. They had a player sent off. There was a lot going for us, a lot really should have been done. We didn't quite hit the mark, but I'll tell you who did. This boy, Roberto Fernandez, who we were very quick to judge. Thought we were going to get rid of. Still think you should have got rid of. All right, calm yourself, wait for it. He's uh, he's not only doing well, he's back 9 and 16. This boy has been on absolute fire. So we drew 3-3, three, three, and then we came out of that play Pompey. 2-1 win, Fernandez with the winner. Absolutely grand. Sunderland came to play. Well, I say they came to play. They didn't. They lost 3-0. It was Fernandez again with Longman and Mawson got an own goal at the end. Oh, you know what? Goals keep flying. Loving it. We're all loving it because it was 5-1. Castillo with two goals. Windas and Fernandez again. And Cameron Archer even popping in with one. You know it's good when Cameron Archer pops in. Peterborough then, 3-3, we conceded towards the end, but again, not a loss and a lot of goals going in, that's a positive, we lost to Reading 1-0, let's just forget about it. It's forgotten, so we came out of that to a 3-0 win against Ipswich, Fernandez scoring two, and also one, I I'm starting to have a, a, a bit of a, a bit of a really, I want this boy to be amazing, his stats just keep getting nicer and nicer and nicer, I'm really hoping for him, he came on, it's in the league, it's his first league goal of the season, Callum Archery scored it. Yes, he did. He got a goal in the game. Of course he did in the goal. And then we moved out of that Ipswich game in it to the Swansea game. A 1-0 win. We just played Birmingham. We were well, we, we should have won. Sorry, 1-0. But we conceded to a, 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 Luke, a Lucas. That is just embarrassing for everyone. Jukovic. 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 Yeah, blame it on that sun that's coming in randomly. So today we have Peterborough and Bristol City. Guys, would you believe it? We are in fourth position in the league. Interestingly, Peterborough are doing incredibly well themselves. They're in fifth position. We're on 44 points, which is not what we expected to be in at this point of the season at all. Uh, but we are not, you know, we're, we're far enough away from, from the automatic promotion to not even be thinking about that. But we have to... We have to look at the positives. We are happily in the playoffs. I mean, could it happen? Hit the like button. If you all hit the like button, if every single one of you hits that, then there is a small chance, a very good chance, sorry, that we will get to the playoffs. Not sure that's how that works. I'm pretty sure that isn't how that works. Just click the like button. So it, it works every time, 100% of the time, every time. Anything else? Don't you even. Let me get you started. We've already signed a player. It's not the transfer window yet. Doesn't matter to this guy, he just does what he do. You know what I'm saying? Let's get to him. This boy, we got him in. Well, it's soon. Christopher Scott, that's who we're bringing in. He's coming in to play anywhere, but predominantly through these two midfield slots right here. I'm super stoked about this sign. And he got an A. Look at those beautiful stats. They're really nice. He's 21 years old. Fortunately for us as well, he's obviously eligible for England. Isn't he? Why wouldn't he be? Germany, Ghana and England doesn't speak English. But he is ready to play for England if need be. But that does mean, he's, he, what am I even, don't even need a work permit for the boy. So an easy signing coming in. Barely anything either. 62,000 to get him. 230 it will go up to. But hey, great to bring a player in. Everything's going rosy. I say everything. Castillo has been a dream for us, guys. He's played 21 games. He's scored 11 goals in the league. We think, oh, what a player. What, is, what could go wrong? He's out for three weeks. And he has been such a vital part of the team that that is a worry. That is actually a really big worry. And also his work permit is another big worry. They're saying that he won't be able to get one. I might have to offer him silly money to keep him. We'll see how that goes, guys. Because I don't really, I don't fully understand it. It's settled status. It's settled status. So if he's considered to be foreign, consider work permit based on the following criteria. So this is what he needs. He also needs to have sufficient appearances in the top 50 club, which he doesn't have. He's, he's, he's Dutch. He doesn't get into that. Club appearances awarded on the reputation of the league. Now that, 
Who knows? Because he plays every single game for us that he can play. So if that is based, if our league is good enough, well, fingers crossed that that will get him a work permit for next season. But it's not looking... Everything I'm being told isn't great for it. Continental success, we're not going to get that. Club league position, who knows? League reputation and relative wage. Now, this one is the one that we might... If we have to uh, if we have to do it, we'll get it. It says here he's got a good chance of a work permit, but that is not what he told me only a week ago. So... That's a worry. And we also had a youth intake situation uh, telling us what to look forward to. Excellent intake, I was told, thinking absolute smashing it. This isn't a great year in central midfield, and that's the best one we've got. So, at least we've got a winger. But we'll see if that brings anything. Obviously, as you know, Christmas period is the 26th of December here in-game, which does mean that we've got a lot of games going on. All the time. And we've got injuries. Windass is out. We've got a couple of injuries in defence. It's not been perfect. And up front, it's not been perfect either. But today, we're going to have to do something that I haven't done for a long time. Sorry for that weird noise. Um, we are going here. This is Sheffield Wednesday against Peterborough. Our team is Dawson in goal. Palmer on the right. Dunkley, Clark, Salter and Gibson's having to play on the left back position today. Cavalio just behind the striker with Hunt and Adenarin in the midfield. Fernandez, who's been doing amazing up front for us. I'm having to put him on the right and putting Cameron Archer up front. I, I don't know if that's a good decision. I'm I'm doubting myself, guys. I'm doubting it. I should have maybe put John Jules in, but he's not played well. Talk about John Jules. I am sure Mr. Chancery and Darren Moore are watching, noticing how good he's doing. He's not doing great, but how good he could be doing because he's just signed for Wednesday in real life. So, sorry, how you doing? It's all me. Kick off. And we're in. Longman. Back to Palmer. Cup of coffee. Raising to the mouth. As Carvalho has it outside, shoots. Oh, put that down. What? He has been, I'm not even joking, boys. He's been useless over the last two months, Carvalho. He's offered us absolutely nothing. To the point where I, I brought in, I brought in Scott to come in, Christopher Scott to come in and probably take his position. Adenarin's played his position a few times. You come along and watch, and he does that. Baller. But they're coming back. We haven't been perfect defensively. So is a chance. Smudic, 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 Smudic. Dawson. That's one we do know. Has got the ball and he starts to bowl it out here. We're coming out from defence and no, we're not. Corner them. Tomlinson into Kent over the bar. Never worried. Didn't the boy eat all coffee? They need to keep it away from that Smudic, Smudic, Smudic. I don't know. Tomlinson though on the left now. And uh, going to take on Palmer, who's been pretty decent recently. He has talked about wanting to leave the club as Sykes plays it back to Smudic. And it's into Carl Harris. It's in the post. Oh. Mm, half time. It's one of those which we've not been in control of the game. The stats look very different to how it feels. We're not really doing enough. So it's going to be one of those. You're doing well. Could you be doing better? Kick off for the second half. We're straight into a highlight as well. We start the kick off and Dunkley is the one who plays it into Clark Salter. Hopefully we can build a beautiful attack. I said a beautiful attack. He just goes long. Just boots it. But Roberto for no! Gibson has the throw in. He's playing left back today. Definitely not his best position, but as I say, we are only two days since the last game, so we've had to do a little bit of a mixer -roo in the squad rotation so that we've got enough players with fitness, because fitness is so important in, in Football Manager, and uh, that's why Hunt is playing today. Probably not played enough, actually, Hunt, over the season, as Palmer has it onto the right side. Goes in, Marcia! Oh, come on, Cameron boy! Put that away! I'll tell you what, I was so shocked the other day when he scored. Back in though, Palmer, straight away, let's live the dream, into Cavalio, a second goal would be lovely. Second goal would be in from Ryan Ongman! <laughs> stunning finish, absolutely stunning, it's happening, it was a tapping, we all saw it. But hey, it's in, that's the most important thing, 2-0 up, Palmer with the throw in here. Brilliant work from him and Cavalio down the right hand side as he comes in. Should it have been cleared? Probably, but it wasn't, so we love it. It's water now, with Sykes, there's been a lot of... Um, Highlights in this game, but Tomlinson has it on the left-hand side. Back heel into Clark Harris. I tell you what, there was a, a goal in one of the games. I think the one that we won 5-1, the, the other team scored a, like, Cruyff, like... Oh, I'll tell you in a minute. Smodix, back to Tomlinson. Yeah, sorry, it was a Rabona flick over the goalkeeper. I mean, if that's not goal of the season, what will be? Uh, hopefully one from us, because this carries on for a little bit too long. I'd like us to get... A foot in because Thompson's way too clear on the right hand side. He's going to put a ball in. He does. Smuzzix misses it. Besides, they, they're still going. This highlight's still going. Do you, why is he not put a foot in there? No one knows why he hasn't put a foot in there. As Taylor has it, back to Thompson, back to Taylor. It's going to be Smodix. Yes, of course it is. Smodix 
Smolix, Smolix, Smolix. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but I'll say it loads. Has scored the goal. He's running back to the centre. You know what? You know what? We could have done a lot of things better there. A lot of things better. Not just one thing, not just two things. A lot of things better. <sighs> it gets to the point where I just don't want to see a highlight. Do you know what I mean? Just don't want to see it. I don't believe in Archer. I don't know why I'm playing him. He's not even having a bad game and I just don't believe in him. I think Ports, uh, Peter Brasari are going to come back into this as Archer. Just play a through boy. Go on, Roberto. You're about to come off. Tyrese John Jules is about to come in. You put it in. Longman. Oh, <laughs> Ryan Longman does not get much game time. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't play him that much. Today, he's come in. Two goals. He's in the position of Castillo. Obviously, with Castillo being injured, he's going to play a lot more. He's really proven that maybe he should be playing all the time. As he comes in, nods it in. Rai Rai. Different Rai Rai. Highlight again. Highlight again. We're in the 67th minute right now. It's 3-1 to us as Archer plays it along to John Jules, who's just come on. I told you it was going to happen. It has happened. He turns back, plays it to Palmer. Cavalio, lovely touch that. Back to Adenarin, not needed. Could have had a go. As Hunt plays it to John Jules. I think he's offside. He's offside. He's offside. Good finish there. Good finish to see, but uh, definitely offside without question. It was a good ball from Hunt. Let's have a look at it again. Uh, you can see Easy is offside by an absolute country mile, but... Good play. We've got an injury to John Jules. John Jules has had to come off. And the issue with this is we don't have a replacement for him. We've had to change the whole system of the team. And it's a little bit worrying. I'm not going to lie. We, but time is ticking. And that's the most important thing. We brought on Kelman anyway. Throwing Breon. We're going forward as well. We're throwing Breon at the right winger spot, which is not his own. As Palmer throws it in, it feels like we're playing with less men when you look at our sister. But Adenarin, if he just wants to put it away now, oh, good try. Light's gone out. So, it's looking nice. Yes, come on, that's it. That's what we're talking about. A nice 2-0 win. Issue with it, injuries. That is always just adding another one to the list. Another situation in which we're going to need more under 23 players coming in. But Longman did really, really well. Archer, better than expected. And as always, the defence strong. So, well done, boys. Let's get into the Bristol game. Two to three weeks. That's not helpful with, it, with, with, with Tyrese there. Yeah. Look at these. Windass out. Patterson is out. Patterson's out four to seven. Windass out four to seven. Could up be three weeks. Castillo and John Jules. It's Classic Wednesday. We're getting a lot of injuries. Let's get to the Bristol game. You may find this interesting. You may be able to help me out. Get down there in the comments. What do you think? These are the players whose contracts are running out at the end of this season. We've got Archer, Windass, Dunkley, Ferry, Adenarin. They're the ones that I need you to th tell me what you think. Should I keep them? Should I keep Dunkley for a little bit longer? I, I'm, I'm, I'm verging on a yes for that one. Ferry, who's been a backup for us, but he's played quite a lot of times as a backup. And he's on a low contract. Should I keep him in? Adenarin, he's money if I sell him. He's only 24. Archer, he's not living up to his potential. But should I try and get money for him and just give him a contract and try and sell him on? I just don't know. You let me know, guys. Let's get to Bristol. So we are, boys. We are here. It's for the game against Bristol. It's at home. It's at Hillsborough. Different team. A few players you may not have seen as well. Cameron Dawson in goal with Brian Dunkley. But also, I don't know if you've seen him play. Will Fish is in. We did sign him. He was a Manchester United. Well, nowadays, he is a Man United youngster with Divine. So I wonder if they know each other. Ball and Larry in there. Hagen is having to play on the right because, again, we are so low on players. Cavalio, Longman and Fernandez up front on the bench. You will see him. And he'll probably come on because it's me. Kanamatri is there on the bench for us as well. Today, we're playing Bristol City, managed by Nigel Pearson. And they have a few players in there that could cause us issues. So, let's see what we can do. Kick off. Straight into the action with them. And it's Holland kicking it into Zanika. And this, it says Jorgensen. Zanka, uh, Jorgensen has scored. Pfft, not a good start. Not a good start there. Really grand scheme. Just easy, wasn't it? So easy. Holland just played in the front post. Easy. Oh, yeah. We're back. Darlow going long. Don't go foul. What? That's, what's wrong with our ref? Ball has done really well this year in not doing that. But he has done that. It's a red card. Cavalio, can he just drop back? Is that as simple as it needs to be? Can he play just central midfield? The answer to that question is no. So that means... He is going to be sacrificed, and we're going to bring on a dinner in. I think it's the only option really we have for that ball winning midfielder coming in. Oh, it's not going well today. Dunkley, though, going along. 
to Roberto, no one there. It's, he's going to be completely isolated up top at the moment. That is one of the huge issues we're going to have in this game. I can't really see us pulling it back. We are weak at the best of times at the moment. And it's good save, just wide, sorry. Player for player, we are weak at the moment. And that is a real worry. But it, as long as it's still 1-0, there's always a chance. Half time, still 1-0. Always a chance, always a chance. There on the ball, coming forward. We take it back. Bree, Hagen. It's, it's a tough game for him as well, the young lad. And then, he's just trying to want to play it to Roberto up front. Ooh, do I make the decision? Do I make the decision? Do I take Lowry off, who's not having a good game at a 6.3? Put another striker on, give an opportunity. Something to play with up front. I mean, if they score here, we're definitely doing that. Without doubt, as Holland knocks it back to Matson. He goes to Bree and Hagen. We're in control again of the ball, but... I don't see it though. I don't see it. But I'll take it as Fish and uh, Divine. Divine goes long to long man, but uh, it's not going to be good enough for Zanka and Lala. This, where's Poe? Where's Poe and Tinky Winky though? You know, size oh, telly tummies. You got it. Scott Holland. Holland's going to make it too. He does make it too, which means that we are going to make those subs. We are going to be taking off Lowry. We're just going to have to go for it here. Why not? Why not is the question, ain't it? Why not? Right, here we go. Adenarin's got it in the middle. We've made the sub. Well, we haven't made them yet, but they're about to happen as Longman. Shit score. Shit score. We've got a corner. What we're doing is we're bringing on Kadamachi and Kelman, two young lads. We are taking off Lowry and we're also taking off Roberto. And to be honest, we're giving the two young lads up front a chance. Why not? 30 minutes to give it a go and see what they can do. Back, worryingly. As Divine has it though, we've won it back well as Divine plays it back to Fish and Fish and Dunkley. Beautiful pass. He's free. Bree was free up here. Did anybody see it? All that needed was the long ball over. He's making those same runs over and over again as Fish plays into Divine and Callum Archery, the one to watch, is still there. Kalman round the back for Longman. Get the two men in. That's what we need. No, no, they're not there. But Hagen. Oh. We're getting. Looking okay. We've just got such a young young uh, group of strikers in there at the moment. It's Divine plays it into Kelman. Lovely put to Longman. He can. He scores offside. No. No way, is he? Oh, I, I, I can't believe it. Great football from the young team are out there. Didn't even see a replay of it. That's upsetting as Holland whips it in. They're all in control of this game. I feel like it's over as Kakrida scores. a great use of the post from the keeper. Bree! Come on, boys. This is just, we just need one opportunity and then have that opportunity twice. That's all we need. In theory, two opportunities. As Longman has it down the left-hand side. Back to Divine, into Longman. Longman, back to Divine. These two playing beautiful football. Just get it into the box, though. That would be quite nice. As Fish comes forward with it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. He has a long way for Fish to go before he becomes an absolute starter. But Dane Scarlett is another one who probably wouldn't make my team. Oof. Oh, but I tell you what, I've not seen a game like that for a long time. And uh, poor performances from Hagen and Longman, but really, it's not their fault. Adenarin playing, he was playing here for a lot of it. I don't know why they put him here. Um, yeah, it didn't really work out for us, that one. But you're going to have him in a season, and that's what we need to think about. Let down by a red card. It's as simple as that. We're just let down by a red card, but we keep going. And look, we're eight points in the playoff zone. That's what, eight points in the zone. And we're only three off the top two. But that's not, that's not what we're looking at, okay? A nice win today would have been great. We've got West Brom just in a couple of days, which is going to be a really hard one to come back for. But when are we coming back? It's going to be the end of the transfer window. You know it and I know it. If you want anything happening in that transfer window, get down there right now and let us know. But apart from that, thank you so much for watching, guys. And remember, we're all Wednesday, ain't we? Toodle fit.